On October 26, 2024, Twitter account at Austin Technical shared a noteworthy image of a Ukrainian crew from a 5th Armored Regiment standing beside a Leopard 1A5 DK tank equipped with upgraded armor, specifically contact, 1 Explosive Reactive Armor, ERA modules. This development underscores Ukraine's efforts to enhance the survivability of its aging Leopard 1A5 tanks in the face of modern anti-armor threats, particularly from FPV drones and other high-explosive weapons. However, while Contact 1 ERA adds crucial protection against explosive threats, it introduces new challenges in terms of weight and mobility, directly impacting the tank's performance in high-mobility combat scenarios. The Leopard 1A5 DK, a Danish variant of the Leopard 1, traces its origins to the 1960s when it was developed in West Germany as a main battle tank, MBT, prioritizing mobility and firepower over heavy armor. At roughly 42 tons, the Leopard 1A5 DK remains relatively light compared to newer, heavily armored MBTs like the Leopard 2 and Abrams M1. While this lighter weight has traditionally granted the tank greater maneuverability, it also limits its defense against advanced anti-tank weapons. This vulnerability has become increasingly apparent in Ukraine's ongoing conflict, where tanks regularly face a broad spectrum of threats, from mines and anti-tank missiles to FPV drones. Contact 1, a type of Soviet-developed explosive reactive armor, is designed to reduce projectile penetration by detonating upon impact, creating a shockwave that disrupts incoming hollow-charge warheads. This type of armor has been commonly used on Soviet-designed tanks, and its adaptation to the Leopard 1A5 DK is a testament to Ukraine's pragmatic approach, using available resources to bolster protection despite the Leopard's lack of robust armor by modern standards. The Leopard 1A5's base armor consists primarily of rolled homogeneous steel, which offers limited protection against small arms fire and shrapnel, but it falls short against modern anti-tank weaponry. By outfitting the tank with Contact 1 modules, Ukraine aims to mitigate these armor limitations, giving the Leopard 1A5 a better chance of surviving high-explosive attacks on the battlefield. While Contact 1 adds critical defensive value to the Leopard 1A5, it also imposes a significant weight penalty, reducing the tank speed, acceleration, and maneuverability. Originally built for rapid maneuvering, the Leopard's added ERA modules now challenge its ability to perform evasive movements, a critical disadvantage in today's battlefield where mobility is essential for survival. In Ukraine's conflict landscape, rapid repositioning and evasive maneuvers are key to evading precision drone strikes and adjusting to dynamic threats. The addition of contact, one has, thus, created a trade-off scenario where protection comes at the cost of mobility. This compromise is especially significant in urban warfare settings where fast, adaptable movement is often necessary to avoid ambushes or sudden threats from drones. Reduced agility may expose the tank to greater risk, making it more vulnerable to targeted drone strikes and other attacks that capitalize on its mobility constraints. Drones, both kamikaze and surveillance types, pose new, potent challenges for armored vehicles in Ukraine's conflict. These unmanned aerial vehicles are capable of high-precision strikes, often targeting vulnerable points on tanks such as the top or rear, where armor is typically thinner. This reality places additional pressure on Leopard 1A5 DK crews to maximize agility and avoid static positioning whenever possible. The Contact 1 modules on the Leopard offer some initial defense against such threats by generating a counter shockwave upon impact, which can reduce the penetration of hollow charge projectiles. However, Contact 1 ERA has limited effectiveness against multiple or successive impacts, and it cannot fully protect against vertical strikes that are common with modern drones. This vulnerability is exacerbated by the weight-induced reduction in the Leopard's speed and maneuverability, limiting its ability to escape or evade these precise aerial threats. For instance, an FPV drone with a high explosive charge could inflict critical damage on a Leopard 1A5 DK even if it is outfitted with Contact 1. The ERA may absorb some impact, but a powerful drone strike can still incapacitate key systems such as the turret or engine compartment, rendering the tank unusable or severely compromised. The addition of Contact 1 ERA to Ukrainian Leopard 1A5 DK tanks reflects a strategic adaptation to evolving battlefield threats, especially from anti-tank missiles and explosive drones. However, the protective benefits are offset by the mobility losses, creating a challenging tactical scenario for Ukrainian forces. In Ukraine's conflict, where advanced drone warfare and precision strikes are increasingly prevalent, mobility remains an essential factor for survival. The Leopard 1A5 DK, initially prized for its light weight and agility, now faces heightened risk from reduced maneuverability due to its enhanced armor. 
Ukraine's choice to equip Leopard 1A5 DKs with contact, 1 underscores the country's commitment to optimizing its available resources while adapting to the unpredictable demands of modern warfare. As drone technology and anti-armor tactics continue to evolve, this balance between protection and mobility will remain a central consideration in the deployment and adaptation of armored vehicles on the battlefield.